What we'll do is for about 15 minutes, Francesca will kind of say the brief. We'll then start to go through the procedure which involves uh, having a conversation with Francesca about recent waking life. So I can show, and, and Greta can, can show, can, can show uh, how that's done. Um, Thank you. Welcome. Great. Okay. So, um, would you mind telling us uh, what occurred in the dream? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so I'll read it? Yes, please. Thank you. So, That's it's great. one of the most recent dreams I can remember. So, That's fine. That's great. Okay. Thank you. So, I dreamed that my younger brother needs to undergo two operations the same day to maximize his time in Europe. So, he lives in India, also in real life. The first operation is a tonsil removal. The second, I don't remember. I am coordinating the operations, which take place in two different parts of a city in Switzerland. I'm quite stressed. At some point after the first operation, I'm sitting in an empty hospital room with many other doctors, waiting for my brother to show up for the second operation. My brother calls me, saying that he cannot come because the first operation did not go so well. It took longer than expected, and he lost a lot of blood and even had to be re-operated. Suddenly, I feel sorry for him. I tell myself that I, it was crazy to plan two operations the same day, and also a little stupid, because it must be almost impossible to intubate someone again after tonsillectomy, so after removing that. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, <coughs> sorry, um, would you mind saying it again? Yes. And that, that's great, because just so we can all get, um, we, we may need to have it done three times, what we normally do is, is okay. that, but that would be great. Should I read it again or should I just tell it? No, uh, if you read it again, because okay. that way we'll get all the okay. details. Thank you, just. So, I dream that my younger brother needs to undergo two operations the same day to maximize his time in Europe, because he lives in India. The first operation is a tonsil removal. The second, I don't remember. I am coordinating the operations, which take place in two different parts of the city in Switzerland. I'm quite stressed. At some point after the first operation, I'm sitting in an empty hospital room with many other doctors, waiting for my brother to show up for the second operation. My brother calls me saying that he cannot come because the first operation did not go so well. It took longer than expected, he lost a lot of blood, and he even had to be re-operated. Suddenly, I feel sorry for him. I tell myself that it was crazy to plan both operations the same day, and also a little stupid, because it must be impossible to intubate someone again after tonsil removal, so after tonsillectomy. Right, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, what, what, yeah, and I'll ask for it a third time, just so we can make sure it all, all goes in. That's great, thank you, Francesca. So I dream that my younger brother needs to undergo two operations the same day to maximize his time in Europe. The first operation is a tonsil removal. The second, I don't remember. I'm coordinating the operations which take, place, which take place in two different parts of a city in Switzerland. I'm quite stressed. At some point after the first operation, I'm sitting in an empty hospital room with many other doctors, waiting for my brother to show up for the second operation. My brother calls me, saying that he cannot come because the first operation didn't go so well. It took longer than expected, he lost a lot of blood, and even had to be reoperated. Suddenly, I feel sorry for him. I tell myself that it was crazy to plan both operations the same day, and also a little stupid, because it must be almost impossible to intubate someone after tonsillectomy. Right, thank you, thank you. I'll just check with you if it's okay to <coughs> ask questions now of uh, the dream. Intubate. intubate, so having a tube okay. put into the throat yeah. for a respiratory Is that okay that we start yeah. Okay, so what we do in the next part of this uh, procedure is that Ull Ullman recommended and stipulated that we ask questions of the dreamer to ask the details about the dream. So we're just trying to find out as much about the dream as we can. Um, including any emotions that the dreamer might have had during it, um, and just anything that was happening in the scenes and um, events of it. Um, great. So, um, I mean, one thing about the hospital is whether it's a, a nice new, white, modern hospital or or a more old, you know, slightly grubby. Or, uh, less tidy hospital. Hospital is quite tidy. 
quite standard, I would say. What is hectic is the city mm. around the hospital that I visualize. It's like a very busy city, lots of traffic going on, but right. we're in this quiet hospital room inside. Oh, okay, so it's in a quiet hospital room, and you're waiting for him, and he arrives. Yeah, he calls me because he, he cannot, I, I'm waiting for him. Yes. He calls me because he cannot come. Right, and so. I visualize him in another hospital. Uh, so do you see him at any point in the dream, or I you just him. know he's in the city? I see him on the phone at some point. Oh, I see. So it's mainly you waiting, yes. having arranged things, yes. and then waiting for him. And then you get yes. the phone call from him. Yes. Um, okay. Um, or we might just need to ask what he looks like, uh, first of all, just in case that's... Uh, so in normal life? Yeah, normal or? life, or how oh. he was in the dream. Oh, okay. Yes. So he's very tall. He's uh, quite robust. Um, he's starting to lose his hair a little bit. Mm. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. And he's about 32 now. Yes. Okay. Right. Um, Right, so, so this first bit is just, it's only details about the dream, it's, n it's nothing to do with Francesca's waking life associations, um, unless we need to know them, such as it is her brother. Um, so if anybody would like to ask questions about... He lives the where? The dream. Where, where does he live? In India. And he and stands in... What city is this? Goa. <laughs> okay. So he's come to Switzerland. Yes. From Goa. Goa. Yes. And you're in your city there, where you've arranged. Is it uh, the city which you? It's not the city I live in. It's a different city, <laughs> but I know it's in Switzerland. But S Swiss okay. Goa. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know. It looks a bit. Of, the city I'm in looks a bit American, but I know it's in Switzerland. So. Yes. Okay. And any questions? <coughs> when have you seen your brother for the last time? Long time ago. Um, must have. Uh, no, not so long. It must have been in. No, no, in March. Much. Okay. Oh, and is, is all this happening in sunlight and, and daytime, or, or yes. is it the end of the day because he, he's had two operations? Or yes, so the last second. scene definitely at the end of the day. Yes. Right, so the second scene of yes. you being there is the end of the day and getting yes. the phone call on your cell phone. Yes. And, yes. and are there doctors around who yeah. are also waiting? So yes. There's, because it's an operation, there are people waiting exactly. for him to arrive. And I have arranged all this. And you've arranged this with all these people. Mm -hmm. And is that a mixture of males and females and doctors and nurses? And it's very vague. I, just, mm, that's okay. I can picture some male colleagues because I'm a doctor in, in real time. Yes. But, uh, yes. but there's doctors there doctors. waiting. And some in, are dressed in, in green, like with operating... Um, right, so green opera, green opera. The, the, um, yes. The clothes. Yes. Green clothes. Yes. Right, okay. Oh, no. Okay. Um, there seems to be two emotions that you're having. One is that you feel guilty, you've misarranged things, so maybe you're embarrassed with respect to your colleagues who are mm -hmm. not with you. Mm -hmm. But you also suddenly feel sorry for your brother, so yes. you remember to have this sort of emotional bond to your brother. Are you yes. in anguish? You think it's terrible that it's happening to your brother? How is how are these emotions uh, connected somehow? So it's definitely stressful somehow because I have to arrange things. I'm responsible for everything. Uh, I feel, yes, I feel worried for my brother, for his health and everything. And then I also feel sorry for having put him in such a position to have two operations the same day. Mm. So, yeah, these are the, emo the emotions. Is your brother sick? In real life? No. Yes. No. But in the dream, he he's, he's needs two operations. Yes. yes. Actually, <laughs> while you say it, my brother is someone who, also as a child, he puts himself into dangerous situations quite easily. He falls. And now living in India, he always has some, has some kind of infection or something for which he calls me and asks me, so what, sends me a photo, what should I do? Or, so, yeah, it's not, nothing serious. But. but then he keeps you informed about yeah. uh, the fact yeah. that he's constantly having some trouble, yeah. small troubles. Yeah. So you are serving as his personal physician in some way? Sometimes it's me, sometimes it's my dad. <laughs> he just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Sometimes he chooses the best advice. <laughs> okay. 
Um, but, uh, so questions about the actual content of the group? Are there any familiar faces among, among the crowd of doctors? So in the dream, they are familiar to me, but I can't remember any particular face or someone I know, someone as I associate. But they, they seem familiar, but you cannot recall? Mm -hmm. And I cannot be more precise. Mm -hmm. Hi. And so you say in the last part of the dream that you wait for your brother, but in the first part, you're saving up everything, but you don't, you don't give any details about the first operation, about uh, your brother arriving from India, do you have those information? Yeah, it's true. In the first part, I see myself setting up things. I see myself organizing things on the phone. I try to visualize the different parts of the city where the operations take place. And then there's a temporal switch. And then suddenly the first operation has all already been done, and we're waiting for the second one. So there is a, a temporal right. gap. Yeah. So just to be clear, these are two separate hospitals. Mm -hmm. Two parts of the city. Two, oh, two parts of the and same separate. hospital, no, no. but they're separate. Two Sorry. parts of the same city, so two different oh. hospitals. Two different hospitals. And so he's gone to one, like mm -hmm. you said, but all that's known is you're doing the arranging. Mm -hmm. And he goes to the first one, mm -hmm. and you're at the second one yeah. waiting, waiting for that. You, you Can we begin asking questions oh, well, um, or not? That's the second that phase. Just that's the next phase. There's a phase where we start to ask questions. Of, at the moment, it's just questions about the actual dream content because yeah. what Allman wanted to do was to get as much about the dream as... It's quite scientific in a way. It's get as much information about the dream. And sometimes people do suddenly realise, ah, I didn't say that. And then as much information about waking life as separate activities. Um, I mean, were there any other colours apart from green, for example? And I see white I can, for the... Yeah, I don't think I can... Was the know. interior of the hospital similar to your hospital? No. Different. It was different. Yeah. Unknown, yeah. It's an unknown yeah. one, yes. But would it mainly be white, or...? I don't know. Not particularly. Yeah. Just doctors around. Yeah. We, we know that. Questions about the dream? Yeah, um, I'm not sure I got what time of uh, removal surgery it was. So it's the tonsils, the okay. yeah, amygdala. How you say? Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, so the second operation is tonsils. The first one. The second oh, I don't sorry. know. Yeah. The first operation is tonsils, yes. and the second is something. Something else. Yeah. Okay. Is any patients? part of the dream taking place in India? No. Not no. at all. No. Were there any patients in, 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 in the room? Any other patients? No. Just doctors? Mm -hmm. Waiting for the patient to come. Uh, so, something intrigued me, uh, well, I was intrigued by this. If I uh, remember well, you, you said uh, you found yourself in the room with a lot of doctors where you should be operating, but you said an empty room. What is empty exactly? So it's like a patient room where the patients are in, where there's normally a bed in the middle of the room, and there's no bed there, so there's just a doctor sitting around the space where the bed should be. Oh, because normally empty. they roll in the bed with the patient, so it's just oh. an oh, empty right. room. Right, and that would be where they would have done the second operation. Probably the or admission or first, they're, they're the admission first where they ask questions, and then they probably would have put them in. in into taking him to the operating room. So. Right. So he's not there, and the bed isn't there either because yeah. he's not been yeah. wheeled in. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm wondering whether we should move on to the next stage. Right. Okay. That's great. So the next stage is a very, very short stage that Ullman have, and this stage has the idea of showing the dreamer, you know, that we can all free associate to dreams, you know, and we're, we're all in this, you know, and we can we can all do this. And um, so this second stage is very, very brief. And the second stage is just for maybe two or three of us to say what it would be like if that dream happened to us. So in this part of the procedure, you can think about your own life and what the dream would entail if it happened to you. Okay. Once this bit is gone, we are only back to Francesca. It's Francesca's life and Francesca's dream, and that's all we're interested in. But for this very brief period, we're allowed to think about our own lives and has anybody got any uh, resonance with this 
I have a five year, I, I have a brother who's five years younger than me, and uh, I feel permanently guilty about, about him. I mean, I feel that I have not, that my, my sheer existence uh, has been a problem for him, and that I've in a way overshadowed him, although it's not true in fact, but it's still a guilt that he visits me all the time. And also because I was a very sort of responsible older brother, I was the one who was arranging things all the time. So that's yes. a part of the residence. Oh, the a residence there, <laughs> yes. Any, any other residences with people? So, I would also, I also feel that uh, I should as a doctor, I should have taken better care of, of this brother of mine who is so far away. And I did not consider that the two operations were too much and that on top of it, the, uh, it was wrong to start with the, with the voice operation. The tonsillectomy. Has something to do with breathing and talking and communicating and will he be able to talk uh, when I have done that. So I also have a feeling of guilt and embarrassment toward my colleagues. Right, should we, should we have this as the third one? Thank you. There's no type of dream when you arrive in situations that you didn't think about and now you are just rationalized thing, I think there is a sensation of why did I do that? I don't understand why I did that before and now I am in charge and I just assume that uh, I did the job before. But, uh, that's, a, that's a feeling that I have with this type of, of dream, like, just to be in a situation that you didn't provoke but you are in it so you say okay I did it so and now I have to assume consequences of Yes. Right. I see what you mean. Okay. Thank you. Um, right. So, oh, okay. We'll have a fourth one just quickly. Uh, it makes me think uh, uh, about the difficulty to have uh, people who are very near uh, us, uh, even so it's your profession. Uh, it's sometimes very difficult to help the people you love. Thank you. Okay, so now what we do is uh, the dream is given back to the dreamer from all of us. So it's no longer ours to think about in terms of our own life, but back to Francesca. So Fra Francesca could say anything that you think or about what's just been said or, or nothing at all. Um, it's actually quite important to hear that other people can relate to that. Mm, yes, which, which is why Ullman put that yeah, stage in. Yeah, yes. I can yes. see that. Is there anything specific that any of them want to say, or it was just comforting? Okay, thank you. Okay, now the next stage of it is that we talk to Francesca about what was when the dream happened and what was going on, say that day or that week, or anything that might have been on your mind during that week. Is, mm -hmm. do you, would you mind talking about? Not sure. So this dream took week? place while I was on vacation in uh, Mexico. And uh, so, so yeah, there are two things that resonated a little bit in the dream with that. So one is that I had taken too much work with me, so I was writing grants okay. <laughs> during the, the vacation. And at some point, I just thought, that's too much. That just, mm -hmm. I cannot enjoy the vacation and write two different grants at the same time. And then the, the second thing was that my brother actually got married, this brother, mm -hmm. got married uh, while I was in Mexico. He just sent all the family a very short notice that he would come to England just to get married and that he would mm. do the celebration at some other time. And so we were all a bit wow. surprised and I al already had taken the arrangement for the trip to Mexico. And I was a bit sad that I could not be there, but I guess we will celebrate that at some other time. Yes. Oh, I see. Right. And had you spoken to him in the days before the dream? Or, or I it had was sent, just this I had sent a message mm. for, to congratulate him. On, on his marriage? Yeah. 
but he's been with his girlfriend for a long time, so it was more a practical arrangement because they have a child, and they need to have the the passport for the girl in India and everything. So yes. So anything else about I mean, is uh, the idea of being responsible for his health? Oh, you've already partly mentioned that earlier on, haven't you? As a, yes, it's as true. It just came up when she asked me, so mm. I hadn't consciously thought about it. And had that been an issue or something that had occurred in the week or so before the dream that you had concerns for his health? No, but there was one almost, I think, traumatic event when I was a child, and he, he jumped over the stairs, mm. and he broke his chin, and he was bleeding a lot, and I was very impressed by this. So maybe something resonates from there also. You know, I was very worried about his right. life. I see. Impressed by it. how do you mean you were impressed? I oh, oh, it oh, affected you. Uh, yes. Oh, it fa- affected yes. you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It right. Me. I see. Um, uh, any threat in terms of health in your life or his life? I mean, has, has there been worries about someone being sick around you? Or? Mm, no, he has just. Sometimes minor things, but no, nothing serious. Do you do you know? I mean, what? Oh, it's a bit personal. Do you? Um, oh, just just so it's no doubt for anything personal, it, it's always part of the procedure. The procedure is a sort of a balance between curiosity and safety. Yeah. And so we can ask things out of curiosity, and, and Francesca can just decline and just say, Okay. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's okay, so it's Francesca. Any um, <coughs> specific uh, feelings about this woman that she, he's marrying? I like her a lot. I've known her for a long time, so good feelings. Yeah, do you feel responsible? Uh, I mean, you've got responsibilities in the dream to him, and mm-hmm. we know there's been some responsibilities to him, but are there other... Oh, and you've mentioned the grant responsibilities, but are there other... But in general... You know, there's been overwhelming responsibility. Well, in general, I take mm. my responsibility very seriously, mm. so, seriously, so... And even towards my brothers, I, I always felt responsible, mm. especially towards the, the younger one. Yes. So, yeah, that's, that's a constant <laughs> issue, yes. I would say. In my right. Life. Right. And in that week, had there been instances of you being so responsible that, that, that there was too much to plan, that it, it was sort of too difficult? Well, during the vacation, it was, mm. it, it was difficult to enjoy the vacation and write the grants at the same time and, 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 and do uh, all this right. planning. So. Right, <laughs> yes. And the idea of two things at once. Yeah, it's two grants. Oh, it's two grants. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, so why have you got two grants? Ah. Why have I got two things? Why did I schedule two things? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Two, two operations and two grants. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the throat. Yeah, the throat. The throat, yeah. is, there, is that got any resonance? Or? I think it's an operation children often have, so... Mm. I think I associate this with my child brother, my younger brother. Mm. Yes, I see. Yeah. Yes. Are you close to your brother? Yes. Even if we don't see each other, yeah, I think we're emotionally very close in general. Apart from the two grants that seem to to play a role. Do you have any idea of why you would have such a dream, particularly at that moment? Mm. Why would you dream that you, your brother would, would need to have two operations? I don't know, but so he was getting married at the time. I don't know if it's two periods of his life. I, just a guess, I'm not sure. If it is relevant, could you, could you give us a bit of a time scale of all these events, the trip in Mexico, the planning for the vacation, uh, the grant writing you said was wild during the vacation, and also being informed about the marriage? 
I okay. have when the dream occurred relevant to all that. Okay. So I think I was informed about the marriage a month or six weeks before the trip. And I had this dream about one week into the trip, a few days after he had actually married, and between one deadline submission uh, and the other one. <laughs> it seems to be there is a hard critique about efficiency in your dream. <laughs> the efficiency you want to have doing these two grants while you are traveling, and the efficiency of him, your brother, wanting to go very quickly to have his uh, marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Had you, had you been waiting in the, in the dream though there's also as well as the, the, the criticism and, and the efficiency there's also the, the sense of waiting on someone mm. as, does that have any resonance you've got a whole load of people there with you waiting for someone to appear yeah. I, haven't. I, I don't know whether that has any mm -hmm. Anyway, that's just something like to think about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think there were those two situations where you prepared something at the beginning with on the phone and then you waited to have your brother mm -hmm. on the phone. And the phone is really something where you're not really act on things, you're just remotely yes. related to things. Um, yes. Yeah. As if there was some distance. Well, there is some quite all the time there's some physical distance between me and my brother because he lives so far away. So it somehow resonates as if I can't... He's getting married, I can't be there. He's, he's close. Well, not when I was in Mexico, but he's back in Europe and I, I can't be there. Maybe there's something mm. like that. or then we, or we could go on to the next stage if people haven't got a, any other question about it. Like this is um, um, waking life. Um, so what, what's your global feeling about this dream? How do you feel? In the dream, anxious most of the time. No, I mean outside of the dream. In the wake, wake st uh, state, not in the dreaming state. What I think about, what my interpretation is? Or? Yeah, no, your feeling, your feeling about this dream. Oh, when you're out of the dream. Uh, just when I woke up? or Yeah, when you woke up. Or yes. when you, after you woke up. Just, not just when you woke up. But. So the feeling is, um, what I'm saying to myself is, that was way too much, you're putting other people into danger, you're trying to do too much at the same time. I think guilt, definitely. Yeah and like trying to reason with myself a little bit, say, okay, now you have to calm things down, that's, that's too much. Okay, um, thank you. So the next stage that Ullman uh, said is uh, that the dream is read back to the dreamer. Um, and so what we do is we say the dream back to you in the second person. Mm -hmm. And we do this uh, sort of sentence by sentence. And if Francesca remembers anything about the dream, she can say it. Or if Francesca remembers anything else about her waking life on hearing the dream again, um, she can say anything there. Mm -hmm. So, great. Um, who, who thinks they can remember Francesca's dream really well? <laughs> um, we need to consolidate it first. We need to consolidate it first. So... Any, anybody? I could or should you feel like that? Or should Okay, and if, if I say anything, if I miss things, then please just, uh, just, just say so. But um, the dream has sort of two halves, and in the first half, you are in a city in Switzerland, and you are arranging for your brother to have two operations. One of the operations is a tonsillectomy, and you're needing to fit both operations into one day in order to be efficient. 
uh, because he's having to come from India to have the two operations. In the second half, of the, and that's all there is for the first half, I think, yeah. For the second half of the dream, you are in a sort of patient's waiting room, and you're there with a group of doctors, some of whom have got green, the green robes on. And there isn't the bed, and there isn't your brother, because your brother hasn't been brought in. And you get a phone call on your mobile, and it's him saying he can't make the second operation. And you then feel it's annoyed at him, partially, from what I remember, but it's also being uh, upset with yourself for having arranged so much in one day, especially when it would have meant intubating him twice. Um, yeah, is that, yes, is that pretty much the dream? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, Okay, so now what we do for the next stage is that we, we, with Francesca, tie together what she said about the dream and what she said about her waking life. Um, I don't know, do, do you want to say any obvious links that there might be? So, so the most obvious thing for me is that it's a period in my real life where I'm planning too many things mm. to be done at the same time, mm. I think. And that this actually has probably even consequences on other people or... Yes. On, yeah, and there's also this dimension of responsibility and... Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. But are the elements that resonate the most right. with yes. my normal working life? Yeah. Okay. It's not that every bit of the dream has to be explained. Yeah. But there are some things that are seem to be obvious, and others that are, aren't. For example, mm -hmm. tonsillectomy. Yeah. Where does that pop up from? Why? Uh, and the other operation, you yeah. are so careful mm -hmm. about things, why don't you know what the other operation is? Mm -hmm. But uh, can you in any way relate the, the tonsillectomy, the, for example, to anything that you had experienced around the time? No, I've never had the tonsillectomy. My brother hasn't had a tonsillectomy. But I see many patients with sleep apnea, and sometimes children, that I refer for tonsillectomy, so that they can breathe better during the night, during sleep. So that's, I think, my only day-to-day -day relation with tonsillectomy. Okay. Yeah. I think Francesca had also said that tonsillectomy is something that often happens in children, or as you associate with, with children who would be people you would want to be responsible for mm -hmm. and look yeah. after yeah. and um, and yeah. I was very responsible for my brother for and brother. yeah yes was like yes. little mother yes. <laughs> when yes. I was a yes. child. No, uh, yes. You feel like you are suffocating him <laughs> with your attention? What? Oh no no. I don't think so. <laughs> not now and <laughs> not when I was no, I, but I just felt I just felt <laughs> <up. laughs> mm. <Yeah>, maybe <laughs> And there was obviously the two grants, so there's the yeah. idea that you are in waking life organising too many things. Mm -hmm. but, but is it is it an episode? Is it is it sort of something that recurs in your life that you tend to, you know, attempt too much at the same time and feel the loss of control and a certain kind of guilt? Is it a familiar feeling? Yes, yeah. definitely. Something yeah, mm -hmm. that happens often. So he doesn't turn up in the dream, and, and in a way, you, the, ma the the wedding has occurred without him turning yeah. up or without yeah. you turning up or yeah. whatever. It's yeah. Um, yeah. missing him. Yeah. You know, yeah. it should be something where he should be there. You, where you and he should be there, and exactly. you're not. And we're only yeah. on the phone. And That's you're only on the phone. How it happened in real life right. as well. Right. Did that upset you in your life, or it was just the way it needed to be? Because 
My other brother, he, we laughed about it. All oh, right. Okay. But it's maybe not. It, it was a bit surprising. And yes. My parents actually decided to go. So, but I couldn't make the arrangement because I had planned my vacation already. So. Yes. And yeah, it was a bit upsetting. Well, so, yes. A bit upsetting, but. Yeah. Uh, you speak about your own guilt about this dream, but I wonder if there is some anger. Uh, for your brother, because he, he, he arranged things very so quickly that, so that you couldn't be there. So maybe is there a, a kind of hidden level of interpretation that would be that you, you, you in a way, are angry that you couldn't be there because of him be, wanting to be so efficient and quick? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of anger, maybe. Yes. Like my first reaction was, hey, why didn't you tell me that before? I can't change things around. So, a little bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, why Switzerland? Be because I live in Switzerland. Normally. Oh, you, do, yeah. you live in Switzerland? Yes. yes. Actually, that is true. The, the efficiency <laughs> has led to missing him. Oh, I thought you associated in, efficiency with Switzerland. No, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I do. <laughs> efficiency is relevant. But the efficiency in... in Waking life has led to them both missing each other, and the supposed efficiency of organising both things in one day has led to missing them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Should we make this? Uh, Should we start drawing it to a close? Did you want to yeah. have? If if your brother had recovered well after the first operation, would he be in position to uh, catch up with the second one? Because the second one, you said, was in a different hospital, in a different place of the city. Would you have enough time to transfer from the one to the other? Uh, so it would be virtually impossible anyways. Yeah, transfer maybe, but I, I think it's, it's not a good idea to have a second operation after you had an operation on the third. So I think at the point in the dream, I realized, oh, but I planned it, but it wouldn't have been possible anyway. So. So in, on, on one hand, I'm also relieved that it makes me realize that I, that I didn't think through things uh, enough and that now I'm facing this problem. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So thank you all um, for, for that session. I'm very, very grateful to Francesca as well. We can't quite look at the painting yet because Julia's still working on that, but we, it has, I'm not quite sure what happens next in the schedule, whether... Yeah, we, we, move we move to cocktails. We move to cocktails. Yes, that's that would be great. So, so, uh, <laughs> yes. So I guess we will see the painting at some point. Yes, yes, yes. Julia will 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 carry on. Okay, I will carry and, on. Okay, so you can bring it to us down or whatever. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 But so, thank, thank you thank so you much, Francesca, for thank you very much.